So we've gotten to New Lanark and I just wanted to show you the cottage that we're staying in. So this is one of the water houses because um, it's right on the water, obviously. I think this is a two bedroom superior and it's absolutely huge. So I'll show you. So I'm standing by the front door. This is the hallway and there's stairs down there. And you come round and into the kitchen. And it's just a really nice kitchen. You can hear the river outside. Recycling bins, little breakfast bar. And then here is a little dining table and these lovely deep window sills, which I'm going to be sitting in. And the living room. There's no Wi-Fi there, unfortunately. But there's a TV, so that's something. Yeah, and that's looking back. And then in there is just like a utility cupboard. I think there's like a boiler and a hoover. There's some nice paintings on the walls as well. So then there's another door here that goes back out to the landing. Here's the full bathroom. This is a bath and shower. And a mirror. And sink and tower rack and everything. And then go way around back down. So this is a bedroom. This is the one that I think we're gonna uh, sleep in. So it's nice and cozy. It's very warm in here. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, but right on the water down here, which is pretty cool. And wardrobe, and Lee unpacking. And then through here, I don't know where the light is. Here. So then this must be the master bedroom. And there's like bunk beds over there as well. So this place could easily sleep like six or even like eight people. If like people slept on sofas or air beds or whatever. So there's full length mirror there. More windows, window, window. And that bed looks cool, but it's it's like two twin beds rather than an actual double bed or king size bed, so. And there's a little ensuite in here. Just a shower room. So I think that concludes the tour. So yeah, I think we're just gonna make dinner that we just bought from Morrison's and watch some TV. I was gonna do a blog post tonight. Um, there's no Wi-Fi, so I can't, but it's fine. But yeah, tomorrow should be quite fun. We're walking all around the village and doing the visitor center. And then after we do that, we'll be heading home. So yeah, I'll also have a blog post on all of the visitor center and what there is to do here. I'm gonna say good night. I'll see you in the morning. You can see down the river now. Oh, that's cool. Hey, river. It's the River Clyde, if you wondered. Well, I haven't put a lipstick on, but they're all in my handbag. My handbag's upstairs, so I'll do that in a minute. Really looking forward to breakfast. I really need, like, a good cup of tea to wake me up. Maybe some juice. Hmm. In fact, I probably won't put lipstick on until after breakfast. I don't know if I mentioned that we're having breakfast in the hotel. That's why I'm, like, getting ready before I have breakfast. <laughs> breakfast which was really nice I had waffles and Lee had a Scottish uh, breakfast which had haggis how was the haggis it was, it was all right I didn't try it it was really good now we're just gonna get the cottage uh, ready and check out Just come 
into the visitor uh, centre experience and there's a big steam train thing. Is it a steam train? No, it's not a train, is it? Engine, like a steam engine thing. So this is a mill, or it used to be a mill, a working mill. No, I think, it, did she say it's still a working mill? Yeah. Yeah. So that's quite cool. See the hotel? Well, those are the mills. So those two buildings there are the mills. And then down there is the hotel building. And that's the mill laid down there. Annie McLeod experience ride, which was great. Oh my god, it was like a thingy for putting your faces in. Should we do it? Okay. <laughs> um, which is really, really cool. It's like you sit in a carriage and it uh, like takes you around and you see different scenes. And there's a little girl called Annie McLeod that narrates her uh, things about her life and what it was like in the 1800s, I can't remember the year, 1820s. Um, yeah, it was really cool. I'm probably not gonna put in too much footage of it because I don't wanna like spoil it, but I'll put in some sort of highlights. So it's really cool. I'm going into the mill now. So we're on the roof garden, like on the top bit on the viewing platform. The roof garden is part of the visitor experience. I thought it was kind of just a thing on top of the hotel, but it's not, it's on one of the mills. So you have to come through the visitor centre to come to the roof garden. I thought it was just something separate. But it's really nice up here and we've gotten so lucky with the weather today as well. And over here, you can see the Falls of Clyde as well. There we go. It falls. It's really cool. So then this is the river that follows down uh, that was to in front of the cottage we were staying in. So this is the actual roof garden bit. It's really cool and you can see the hotel there and some other houses in the village. You can, you can see the whole village from up here basically. There's some other houses and a shop and stuff. It's so nice and there's no one else up here. And it's so still and peaceful. There's a little fountain. Fountain. It's just so nice. A lot of statues and... Oh, I like these hairs. I thought they were like a big statue because I saw those in the photo. Looking cute. Imagine it's really really pretty in the summer or the spring when the flowers are just coming out. Some cute little snail statues. How good is that? And there's a little froggy enjoying the fountain. Here's the little otter. Isn't he so cute? I love otters. And the herons. 
The sun's just come out. Yay, sunshine. Another little metal bird. Oh, they're so cute. Owl. I'm not sure what's next on the tour, but uh, we'll have a look. Do you know what's next? Should we have a look on the map? Look at all the copper things. Copper, copper, copper. I love this copper fondue thing. So good. We've done the visitor centre and we're just having a little wander around, going to do some outfit photos and things. Yeah, I, I thought it was really good to be honest. And even and Lee enjoyed it as well and he's not really into that sort of thing. It'd be great for kids as well. Cauldron in a broom set. It looks like a witch's house. So this is the Nalaika's house. Um, I think it's sort of through the ages, which is really cool. From old to modern. That was uh, Robert Owen's house and we're just going to head over to the school bit now see if that's open because we walked past it and the doors were closed but we didn't actually try it and then I think it'll be about time for lunch I'm so, oh we're on the wrong side of the river Darren it back up we go just left New Lanark, New Lanark, just heading back on the motorway now. Just wanted to say how much we enjoyed New Lanark Village, or I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. Um, if you're in Scotland, or if you live in either Glasgow or Edinburgh, I think it's about an hour from both. It's sort of in the middle of the south. Um, then I would definitely recommend having like a little day trip there. Um, Especially when the weather gets a bit nicer, 
but even today when it was pretty chilly you're not sort of outside for too long because you're sort of going in between all the different uh, bits. It was actually a lot better than I was sort of expecting it to be. So yeah, have a look at some snowy mountains.